Hey, my friends, I'm Pastor Ben Hayes from First Baptist Church, Dadeville, Alabama, and I am so glad to be here on this Monday morning. Glad you're watching. Glad you're participating in this. Share these videos with your friends on social media, and uh, let's get the word out. If you don't mind, I would appreciate that. But right now, we have a great day in store for us, and we want to start out with a study of God's Word. So we're in Romans chapter 12, and we're going to pick up in verse 9, okay? We, we hit this on Friday, but I want to hit it again today as we move forward. He says, let love be without hypocrisy. No play acting. No pretending. Uh, love seriously. Love honestly. That's, that's what we're talking about here. Abhor what is evil. I mean, let it from the depths of your being hate those things that are evil. Not the people who are doing bad things, but the evil that they're doing. We love the people, and we want to see them come to know Christ. Cling to what is good, and that means hold fast to it. Grab hold of it and uh, think about it, uh, meditate on it, fill your heart and mind with it. Let that be the, the basis for, for who you are. And then verse 10, be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love. Now, here's the thing. We love sacrificially, right? We love sacrificially. But for our brothers and sisters in Christ, we have to be kindly affectionate to one another in brotherly love. Like I, I said on Friday, we've got to be there for them when there is a need, like our brothers and sisters in real life. You know, we, we might have a dispute with them, argue with them, but when somebody attacks, we're all coming together as one. And he says, in honor, giving preference to one another. Oh, this is where we fall short. This is where we run into ourselves and stumble all over ourselves. In honor, giving preference to one another. You know what that means, right? It means that we put others first. We don't have to have our way all the time. We don't have to be the one who is in charge. We, uh, we're willing to, to negotiate, willing to compromise, willing to see that someone else's desires are met before ours are. In, in honor, giving preference to one another. You know, not being jealous when somebody gets something good that happens to them, but loving it, enjoying it, celebrating it with them, and rejoicing in the fact that they are our brother or sister in Christ. Now, verse 11, not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Now, I want you to understand something here. He is giving to us a list of character traits, characteristics that should uh, describe your Christian life, your personality, your attitude, your actions. And so he says, not lagging in diligence. You know what? The tendency is for sometimes for us just to, to let things slide. You know, things are going okay. Let's just let things slide. And, and all of a sudden we stop being diligent in our Bible study, diligent in our prayer time, diligent in our worship, diligent in, in our sharing of our faith. And we can't do that. We have to be diligent in everything. We have to be focused on the things of God and doing what he's called us to do moment by moment, hour by hour, day by day. We cannot become indifferent. We cannot become apathetic. We cannot allow ourselves to become lazy because the responsibility is too great and the consequences could be catastrophic to the world around us, the people around us. You want to know why the world is in the situation that it's in today, why everything's gone nuts in, in our country and around the world? It's because believers have become indifferent, lazy, apathetic. We have not been praying like we should, worshiping like we should, ministering like we should, and reaching lost people like we should. Think about it. Yesterday in our, our service, we talked about the 281 million people in North America who are lost. That number continues to grow, get larger every year because the population is growing, yes, but also because we are not keeping pace by sharing the gospel and winning this lost world to faith in Jesus. We cannot afford to lag in diligence, and we must be fervent in spirit. Now, two things in, in my Bible, that's the lowercase s, and it probably should be, and that means that in our spirit, we must be fervent for what we are, we are looking to do, passionate about what we're doing, looking forward to, to getting together with brothers and sisters in Christ, enjoying times like this when we study the Word of God together. It's important that we're fervent in our spirit and serving the Lord. See, Paul makes it clear several places. 
that everything we do, we are to be doing as if we're doing it unto Jesus. That's how we get through this. Everything we do, it is as if we are doing it unto Jesus. And that's important. We are serving the Lord through our ministry, through our, 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 our love for our brothers and sisters in Christ, through our love for a lost world, by all the things that we do. Serving Him, the best thing that Christians can do. Think about that today. Be blessed. We'll be back here tomorrow.